Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. We back. We back. It's another day. We're back for October 2nd. Dun 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 dun. Got some from Peaches. Sad. That sounds scary when you're like dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what Peaches sent us while she was cleaning her house. A mama panda. Mama panda. Mama panda. I think we got one of those already anyway. Let's see, what we? else do we? Yeah, we have one already. And the rest of the stuff you want to put back in Yeah, yeah. Some, I'm going to just throw this back in real quick. Yeah. And um, I think Love Song we already have. I think I might have bought it for the art or something. Yeah, yeah. We bought it for the art. Or it was just hanging on the wall. But we definitely have Love Song. Is this KK Love Song? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Well, yeah, guys, cool. I, uh... We're gonna be uh, fix ordering some things for our exotic room today, yep. and doing a few other little knickknacks. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and get in them old national days. Them old national them days. Them old national days, because you know what? Everybody's got to clean up some stuff, and there's no one better to celebrate than National Custodial Workers Recognition Day. Oh, really? That's right. So if you got a janitor or someone who's you know, just helping keep things tidy around the workplace, make sure to thank them. Custodial workers operate behind the scenes and are often underappreciated for their hard work that they do after uh, day after day, keeping schools, hospitals, office buildings, museums, churches, and other buildings clean and well-maintained. Heck yeah. Uh, there was uh, my last job at, uh, at Sports Endeavors. We had this really nice custodial lady, and she, she was great. She cleaned up, and she did. Everyone like really respected her, and no one. Uh, she <coughs> didn't put up with anybody's shit. She did not take anyone's shit, and it was great. I liked her a lot. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Oops. Damn it. You know, definitely, definitely one of the uh, jobs that gets looked down upon all the time, and there's jobs a job, which is so. weird because you need someone to yeah. clean those spaces. You know, like what would yeah. you do if like. You like imagine in an office setting where everyone had to take turns cleaning the bathroom or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah, everyone yeah. would hate that. So be nice to the custodial staff. They're yeah. super important. Yeah, that's the thing I never understood about anybody uh, being snobby about any somebody working like a yeah. a, a job that they don't consider to be mm. like that good. But you need people to. That's how our society works. Exactly. <laughs> we need people to do those jobs that no one really wants to do. We had that one too. Yeah, we got Mr. KK. Yeah, there's some weird ones that we're missing. I believe uh, we are missing uh, KK Elude. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. We need to check and see if we're missing uh, K uh, Wandering or My Place. Yeah, we don't have either one of those. Okay. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it besides KK Birthday. Okay. So we're getting there. Yeah, and KK Birthday will happen the last Saturday. Yeah. The very last Saturday. The very last Saturday. So, um... No, oh, that's Wart. Let's talk to Wart Jr. So, I ordered the cushions. I think now I'm just gonna go to the island and grab some flowers that I needed. Okay. Well, while we're going to the island, I have a game for us to play. Okay. Because today is National Name Your Car Day. Many of you most likely remember Herbie, the Love Bug, Lightning McQueen from Cars, Kit from Knight Rider, or the General Lee from The Dukes of Hazard, and Bandit from Smokey and the Bandit. And there are just some of the famous car names that are known by millions of people. Make a day of it. Take the old jalopy out for a spin, a nice wash, a sign, and then just maybe you will select a signature name meant for the one that is so reliable. After all, you spend all the time in together and sets, uh, and take such good car, uh, care of your car. Isn't it time that you give those four wheels a name? So, Brittany, we I always thought that was such a weird thing to like yeah. name your car. Kind of hated it. <laughs> yeah. Well, too bad. We're good. <laughs> Me and Brittany own one car. We share this car. And uh, so. What should we name our car? We should name our car. So, first of all, I think we should figure out whether or not uh, it identifies as male or female. <laughs> I have no idea. Does our car... It's a it's a dark blue car. That's the, always been the issue with me. I'm like, I don't know what mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. to pick out a car because it's 
It's a machine. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I don't know. <laughs> and I don't like machines. And I have no empathy for them. <laughs> and I don't want to give it any person personification. So. so right now we have a giant crack across our windshield. Mm. No hubcaps. Or at least... <laughs> We're missing amounts one. of hubcaps. We're missing one hubcap. So, like, our car is actually not that bad, but... No, it's a Toyota we, Corolla. We, um... We, like, lost a hubcap. We fixed it. Immediately lost another, another one. hubcap. Yeah. So we're like, okay, great. Just fuck it. Um... Yeah, and then we got this mysterious crack that started going across our windshield. Uh-huh. That was like, I don't know, like nothing hit our windshield. Just it one just, day it showed up, and then day, it was like it, one inch it long. It keeps getting like bigger and bigger. It's finally stopped. we got to yeah. get our windshield replaced. Yeah. So it's just like at the top. Um, But yeah, I don't know what to say about our car. You know, um... It's kind of scrappy, I guess. <laughs> it still gets us where we're going, but... All right, well, you know. that's a name, Scrappy. We scrappy. can call it Scrappy. I just call it Scrappy. <laughs> yes, I mean, there's a dog named Scrappy. Yeah. I don't like that name, no. All right, well, <laughs> how about, um... Call her old Bertha. <laughs> I was thinking, like, a Bertha or a Betsy or something like a that. Betsy. Yeah. It looks like a, it looks like a, a Betsy. A milk cow name. <laughs> yeah. It does its job. We had a milk cow named Molly. <laughs> That's actually a really cool diving uh, gear right there. The pirate hat? No, the um, <laughs> the diving suit the with diving the anchor suit. on it. I think that's the one we have. No, we got a blue one. Do we have a blue one? Or yeah. a green one? Something like that. I just wanted to come out here and see what's going on. All right. I ain't shit out here, though. Well, all I need are flowers, which I, are all in on the tours. I'll tell you what is out here. What's out there? Our last national day. Is it National Go to the Desert Island Day? <laughs> it's close. There's something you can get on the island because okay. today is National Fried Scallops Day. Ooh, that sounds delicious. So a scallop is a common name which is applied to many species of marine bivalve mollusk in the family of peck, Pechinidae. That sounds like I'm getting a peck today. You're getting a peck I'm, today. I'm getting a peck in a day. Uh, scallops are cosmopolitan family and are found in all the world's ocean. Many scallops are highly prized as a food source, and the name scallop is also applied to the meat of the scallop when it is used as seafood. Um, scallops are, uh, pan-fried scallops are one of my favorite things in the world. Super great. I love them so much. Mm -hmm. Um... Now, the, today is Fried Scallop Day. Mm -hmm. I think fried scallops are good, but here's the thing. You have to eat them with, like, uh, with, like, uh, I don't know, uh, some kind of sauce or something. you got to have a dipping sauce of some kind. Yeah. And I don't like the dipping sauces that generally come with fried foods. Yeah. You can get horseradish sauce or cocktail sauce or, um, you know, butter or whatnot. Yeah. And those are okay. But for me, I kind of like my fried scallops to be like uh, with like sweet and sour sauce or like maybe even barbecue sauce and whatnot. Okay. Those, I think they're better that way. That's bizarre, Brian. Um, I even had one with jelly once and it was really good. That's even more bizarre. It was. It was. It was really good. So, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I ate it. <laughs> So we're in luck. There, there's like an official gardening tour. So That's it's like nice. made just for flowers. So Perfect. what I'm doing instead of actually like participating in the tour, I'm going around and picking up flowers. I think we could use for our town. Okay. And um, gonna just take those back with me. So I got a question. So I'm looking for the like lavender. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ones, and I'm taking some of the yellows too because I what, think I was getting low on yellows. What are you? What is the goal of this though? I didn't see. Um, so there's a big flower bed uh -huh. up here, and Just for this particular one, I have to fill it up since this is the elite one. Uh huh. Uh, I had to fill it up with white roses only. Oh, okay. I think the like easy one, you just fill it with flowers. It doesn't matter what they are. Yeah. And then the second tier is like fill it with this uh, well, color. Oh shit! Four it's like you can, right there. It's like you can only fill it with um. It's just some violet right there. You can only fill it with like like yellow flowers okay, or something okay. like that. And then this one is the elite. That's the hardest one. Yeah. So you have to fill it with a specific type of flower. It has to be like white roses. You know. That's pretty crazy. So yeah. But I'm just kind of casually walking around. I have five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, and they all have five minutes. I originally clicked on this and thought, oh, let me do one that's less time, but they're all five minutes, so. Well, um. But I thought I would just walk around and uh, look for the 
Flowers you're looking Lavender, for, yeah. yeah. There's one up here. Well, Brittany, this was our last national day for today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so we're all out of national days. But we got some pretty banging birthdays coming up. Birthday. That's right. And if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and tuning in. We really do appreciate it. Um, this first birthday, Brittany and I have actually uh, seen live in person. Oh, yeah? Um, it is Sting. Oh, yeah. Sting turned 67 years old today. Born in 1951, the multi-instrumental and singer for the police, known for such hits as Don't Stand So Close to Me and Message in a Bottle, he has also become a successful solo artist, releasing his first album, The Dream of the Blue Turtles, in 1985, <laughs> followed by 10 more albums in the next two decades. It's that, is, that is such a sting title. Yeah, it really is. Uh, There's oh. actually the song that came out um, in the early 2000s, and I yep. remember as a kid really liking it on the radio, but I could not, for the life of me, remember the name of it or the lyrics or anything about yeah, it, yeah. because a lot of it was just, like, chanting. Yeah. And I was looking through, like, playlists of, like, top songs from 2002 or some shit like that. Yeah. And I found it, and the song was Desert Rain by Sting, yep. <laughs> and I was like, yeah! I'll dream of rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's how the song goes. That's why I can never look up the lyrics, because I'm like, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't know who the uh, feature is, but I really like the uh, Indian guy. He got to sing with him in that one. Yeah, he does the chanting, so mm -hmm. that's why I did not know what they were saying, because it was not, you know, it was just, like, chanting. Um, but yeah, we got to see Sting live at, in the National Mall uh, during a uh, Earth Day. A few, uh, really early in our relationship, actually. Yeah, it was a while ago at this point. Um, and, we um, went to Washington, D.C. with a class trip in college, and Brian and I actually drove separately yep. so we stayed uh an extra day or something mm -hmm. and we went to the national mall just to hang out but they were having an earth day celebration there we didn't even know what was happening it was free everyone could just come in um but at the end they had a concert and sting was one of the singers yeah it was pretty awesome we just kind of like fuck it let's do this and yeah. we got to see he played um kinda some kinda of his own songs it's done. And he sang Message in a Bottle, and his back uh, background band was The Roots, actually. Yeah. John was Legend cool. was also there, too. John Legend was there. I'm sure there was a bunch of other people there, too, that we just yeah, missed, yeah. because we kind of caught the end of the festival. We did. Um, but yeah, that's not it, Brittany. We have one more birthday today, and that is Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Sorry, you just, you just gave me a weird look, so I just stopped. Okay. Is that how you say his first name? Yeah, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahat. Mahat. Okay. Where's Mahatma? Mm hmm I can't put Mahat on Ma. It's Gandhi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hate it. <laughs> Alright, well, he was born in 1869, the passive resistance leader who successfully led India in a non-violent rev uh, revolution, or Shatyagara, against the British Empire. He was a strong advocate against the caste system in India and worked hard to end segregation or untouchability in his country. And he died in 1948 at age 78. Mm-hmm. So I actually didn't realize how, um, like, when uh, Gandhi was alive. Yeah. So that was, a, that was an interesting thing yeah, he seems thing like learn. he was born, like... I thought he was born, born in like... the 1900s. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm sure the stuff he did was, but... It was an interesting, interesting, uh, thing to learn. Yeah. Also found out recently that, like, while Gandhi did a lot of really great stuff, he was also mm -hmm. really terrible to, um, women. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> well, finally, our last birthday today is Diva the Frog, who likes ornate and purple things, but nothing basic. Nothing basic. And guys, that's it for us today. Oh, you're not gonna let me plant my flowers in town? Oh, uh, we end when he sings. No, we don't. No, don't do that. I'm going to sing the song. Remember your uh, manners. <laughs> you say please and thank ye. If ye I don't, know. mom will cry into her hanky. <laughs> mom spent so many years raising you right. So get your manners down and chill sleep at night. <laughs> Here's an idea I've been working on. Shampoo and conditioner in one. Jesus There's Christ. no point acting tough, no point acting in bold. 
standing shirtless in the rain just gives you a cold. That's not true. Just gives you a cold. It's not true at all. Works one time. I saw uh, Alexander got a cold when he... Uh, me, Jairus, and Alexander stood in the rain for like... Two hours shirtless outside for some reason and just talked. Mm -hmm. Well, he wasn't getting a cold because of that. No, he got a cold because he he's was already, weak. He was already getting a cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to like plan a couple of things real quick. All right, that well, way we he'll always end it. we always end when the song ends. Well, though today is a special day. I guess so. Uh, you got to hold on to Mama Panda. Got to hold on to Mama Panda. I still got to sing the song though. Well, I thought we were past that at this point in our Animal Crossing relationship. Uh, we have never been past that. Yeah, that's what I'm finding out today. That uh, is today of days. All right, well. Today of days. Today of days. I found out the days. We're still singing the song. Are still. All I did was change it from the beginning to the end cause, so I could sing different songs. Mm, okay. He does sing different songs. Yeah. This is looking good over here, Mom. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's looking real good. It's looking dang good. That's dandy over here. All right. Now we can say goodbye. Okay. Well, guys, thank you say again so goodbye. much for hanging out with us. We'll see you again tomorrow for another episode of Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Bye. Bye. Just bury that hole.